There is a revolution going on in fermentation technology being called Fermentation 2.0. And for the first time in human history, what we've got are novel ferments. Substrates that haven't been fermented before, microbes that have not been used in fermentation before. And what we're gonna to do today is try some of the fruits of this amazing fermentation revolution. A miso is usually made by growing a mold onto white rice, transferring that onto soybeans, salt, and some, often some other compounds. But what we also have here today is a brand new miso called a piso from the famous Copenhagen restaurant Noma. Um, what they did was to take the molds that are used to make traditional miso, but applied them to a different kind of pulse. In this case, yellow split peas. I've got to say that is absolutely delicious. It's got legs on it. It's got lots of um, different Lo complexities. Lots of stuff going on in there. Sorry, Miso, your days are done. We'll next go to soy sauce. Soy sauce. <laughs> Again, from Noma in Copenhagen. Now, this is made in the same way as traditional soy sauce, but instead of soybeans and wheat, it uses fava <laughs> beans and toasted rice. And I, I'm quite curious about this. So we're going to pop them into some glasses to just to get a look at the colour, and then we'll drink them. It's a different thing altogether. I mean, you wouldn't recognise that as being soy sauce, even though it's brewed in the same way. So I'll give this a taste. Yeah. That is actually pretty salty. Is it? <laughs> it's delicious, though. Ooh, I mean, it's much more powerful tasting than it smells. Again, that is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. One of the goals of Fermentation 2.0 is to create new flavour profiles, mm -hmm. things that have never been tasted before. In fact, some of the new ferments, they use food waste. They'll take things that were otherwise going to go to landfill or be turned into animal feed and turned into human food, which are the, really helpful for helping to solve this huge food waste problem that we've got. What's to not like about Fermentation 2.0?